Greetings and it's our joy to be able to come to you this week and spend time each day this week and also take a moment to pray with you. We are going to talk about overcoming wrong thoughts throughout this week and I would like to share a few insights from the Word of God that will help us in this area. Now when we talk about wrong thoughts, we are talking about not just not only evil thoughts, things that are bad, it could be thought, lustful thoughts, but we're also talking about all kinds of other kinds of wrong thoughts, which could be thoughts of anger or hatred towards people, thoughts of bitterness, unforgiveness, wanting to take revenge, anything, any, any thinking, any thoughts that is contrary to God and His ways we would classify as a wrong thought. God's way, God has His ways and His thoughts. Anything that is not aligned to God's ways and God's thoughts, we would call a wrong thought. It, it could you know, have a wide range, whether it's wrong thoughts of lust and evil, or wrong thoughts of anger, revenge, hatred, or intent, intending to do wrong, evil. So. What we're going to learn this week is how can we make sure that our thoughts stay aligned to God's ways and God's thoughts. So that's the standard. And how do we know God's ways and God's thoughts? It's through the Word of God. So the first important thing for us to understand is this, your mind is your. And you need to say this, my mind is mine. God gave it to me. And therefore, I'm going to decide what goes on in my mind. You see, sometimes people say and they express, you know, they feel powerless uh, by the kind of thoughts that just come into their mind. They don't know where it comes from. And it's like, hey, my mind is suddenly flooded with bad thoughts, with evil thoughts or wrong thoughts that are thoughts of, you know, intending to do wrong, evil, so on and so forth. And it almost seems like they are helpless as though something else is overpowering their mind. But that's a lie. The truth is, God created you spirit, soul, and body. Your soul or your mind belongs to you and you are the one who is in charge. So it's time to take charge of your mind. And how do you do it? You say this, God has given me my mind. My mind is yours. I will determine what goes on in my mind. I will not let the devil nor his bombardment of evil thoughts. I will not let other people determine what goes on in my mind. God sanctifies you, spirit, soul, and body. 1 Thessalonians 5, 23. God is, in, is the one working in you, spirit, soul, and body. He's given you your mind. You take charge. Step one. Let's pray. Father, even as we learn to align all our thoughts to your ways, to your thoughts, help us to take charge of our mind. Not to give up control of our mind, to the devil or to other people. But you've given us our mind. Help us to be in charge of what goes on in our minds. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.